Hey, it's me, Bastian, and I've got a question that came up during a workshop I was giving the other day for technology transfer managers at universities. The, the workshop was about patenting AI, and the question was, um, what does a typical AI system look like in the first place, and which parts of, of such a system would you want to patent anyway? So I'm always a friend of, of clarity, so really makes sense to define some terms um, here in the beginning. When I talk about artificial intelligence in the patenting context, um, what I mean is, generally speaking, software that is able to adapt without following um, explicit instructions. Um, and the way these uh, systems do that typically is uh, they learn from experience, which means um, they are trained with sample data and then they are able to identify patterns based on that uh, uh, sample data. And later on then during operation, these systems can then apply their knowledge to unknown data. So that's basically what, what people call machine learning. And that's what it's um, all about uh, most of the time when we talk about patents for these types of systems. So which parts would you want to patent? Which parts of, an, uh, of a machine learning system? Uh, well, of course, at, at the very core, we have the machine learning model, uh, kind of, let's say, the brain of the whole AI application. Um, you might have heard of things like uh, artificial neural networks. Um, so those are really the basic data structures which make the system do what it does. Um, if there's something unique involved in the way the, the model is set up, you might want to patent uh, that model, of course. You might also think about um, patenting, let's say, the broader concept, the broader context, sorry. So the machine learning model, of course, is always embedded in some kind of a uh, uh, problem solution uh, you are trying to achieve. So you might want to think about patenting the whole process of uh, receiving the input, uh, processing it with the machine learning model and then um, producing a certain output. Of course, the training algorithm that would be uh, number three on my list uh, might be um, interesting. So if the invention is really about uh, a, a unique novel way how you would train such a model, that might be uh, um, the, the, the material for a patent. Um, also, other things involved in the training might be interesting. For example, a, a unique novel way of, of producing training data or uh, of pre-processing pre the, the training data in a clever way uh, might, might be patentable inventions. The training data itself is very valuable uh, in many times, of course. That might be more difficult to patent because data is uh, um, data uh, most of the time and patents are for technical inventions. That's maybe a, a topic for a whole uh, different video. Um, and lastly, um, also not to forget, of course, is maybe the output of the AI system, the output of the machine learning model. So. Uh, many machine learning applications are used for, let's say, classifying or clustering information, but there are also um, AI applications that really produce something. For example, let's say an AI that outputs uh, the perfectly shaped airplane wing in terms of its physical properties. Um, so you might want to, uh, of course, patent th that shape produced uh, uh, by uh, the machine learning model. Okay, so that's just a rough overview of uh, which parts are there in, in a normal AI application and uh, which parts you might uh, consider patenting. Hope that helps. Um, if you have a question, just put it in the comments below and I will add it to the list. My name is Bastian Best. I'm a European patent attorney helping companies make sense of patents in the digital transformation. If you enjoyed this video, please um, do me a favor and uh, send it to one of your colleagues who needs to see this or maybe even share it on LinkedIn. Uh, that would help a lot. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye bye.